Here. Member from Thornhill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm pleased today to speak in the Legislature to recognize Seniors Month as well in Ontario. This is a time when we can reflect upon the accomplishments of previous generations and how they built this province into the wonderful place that it is today. It is also an opportunity to reflect on what an aging demographic means for Ontario and both the challenges and the opportunities that are in store for us as our population continues to gray. These challenges will require innovative solutions from legislators. Unfortunately, an opportunity for innovative legislation was lost last Thursday when the Liberals decided to vote en masse against Bill 78, which would have created a province-wide, provincially administered property tax deferral system for low-income seniors and disabled persons. During last week's debate, we heard all sorts of ridiculous excuses as to why members of the governing party couldn't possibly vote in favour of that bill, from accusations of its downloading despite the property tax deferral program being provincially administered. It favours the rich. Tell that to the old couple in Niagara-on-the-Lake who bought their house after the war but are being forced to sell because they can't afford their assessment rate. Seniors would rather have the Liberal $250 than assistance promised by Bill 78. Really, tell that to CARP, who supported the bill and slammed the government's lip service to seniors. These lame excuses lead to one conclusion, Speaker. The Liberals voted en masse against Bill 78 simply because it wasn't a liberal idea. This government prefers hollow photo ops to actually introducing legislation legislation that does anything for Ontarians. God forbid the opposition should try to fill the void. Yeah. Bill 78 is the latest addition. Thank you. And I thank I, th I thank the armchair speakers as well.